Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this dark clubbing look using all NYX eyeshadows. So if you're interested in how I got this look, please keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm first going to start off with my Garnier BB Cream in the colour Medium and I'm just going to put that all over my face just to moisturise my skin and give myself an even skin tone. This is going to act as a primer for my foundation. Next I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in number 150 Radiant Beige. I know it does look a bit intense but after it oxidises and I blend it all into my skin and put bronzer on, it's going to look a lot better. Next I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Custard just underneath my eyes to highlight and conceal and then I'm going to blend it in with my finger and then use my brush to smooth it out. Now I'm just going to do my normal eyebrow routine and use my Face of Australia HD Brow Kit to fill in my brows and then go back over it with my L'Oreal Brow Plumper just to keep all my hairs in place all night. Are you listening? Damn. Now I'm taking this NYX eyeshadow in the colour Immaculate and putting that in my crease as well as on my eyelid just to create a base and help with blending later on. Next I'm taking this gold shimmery shade here called Fancy That and I'm just going to use my finger to pat that on my eyelid. Now I'm taking this colour which is like a dark purple burgundy shade, it's called Own the Night and I'm going to put that in my crease and I'm actually going to bring it a lot further down my eyelid and it's going to cover up a lot of that gold shade but that's what's going to create such a dark look. Next I'm going to be using my Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to make it really dramatic by thickening up the line a lot more than I usually would. I'm also going to extend the line on the inner corner part of my eye and winging it out there as well. Next I'm going to be using my favourite mascara, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in Waterproof Black and I'm just going to coat and coat and coat my lashes with this stuff, I absolutely love it. Next I'm going to use a pencil brush just to take that dark burgundy shade again and put it on my bottom lash line, this is really going to smoke out the eye and make it look super dramatic. Next, using my Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara, I'm going to use the lower lash side 
and put that on my bottom lashes. I just love the feeling of a brand new palette. So I'm going to be taking the banana shade and setting the concealer under my eyes and around my face. And using a tapered face brush, I'm going to take the middle contour shade and really create a precise contour on my cheeks. I know it's going to look a little bit intense, but after I put the bronzer in, that's really gonna blend it out, but keep that intensity, which is what I want for this look. Now it's time for my favorite part of bronzing my face. I'm just going to be putting this on my cheekbones, my temples and my jawline just to give my face that little bit more definition. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Master Sculpt Contour Kit and I'm using the highlight shade and putting that on my cheekbones with a fan brush and on my cupid's bow. This highlight shade has the most nicest glitters in it, it is so beautiful. Now I'm using the Amazing Shine Lashes in number 43 and I actually left this part in real time so you guys can see exactly how I put my lashes on and how long it takes me. By this stage I have the middle part of the lashes stuck down and I'm just going to tweak it a bit using the tweezers and sticking down the ends of my lashes. Next, I'm taking this lipstick by C2 in the color Smashing, which is a dark plum shade, and I'm just gonna be putting that all over my lips. It will dry to a satin finish. This company actually got a lot of hate due to the similarities between lipstick shades and names to MAC Cosmetics. But other than that, I love this brand and I love these lipsticks because they're so creamy and they're so pigmented. So that is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.